Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Monday, November 30th of 2020. One of my favorite books on prayer is called Pray Big, The Power of Pinpoint Prayer by Will Davis Jr. In the book, he talks about the importance of being accurate in what we want Father God to do for us. So many times we just kind of bumble our way through prayer with phrases like, Lord, watch over so-and-so today, or Father, just bless so-and-so today. But are we really hitting the target with blanket statements like that? But the chapter that really captured me was concerning big, hairy, audacious prayers. You know, the ones that only God can answer. Father God is waiting for us to believe big, and ask big. When we pray this way, it tends to solicit big, hairy, audacious answers from Father God, answers that can only be considered provision from heaven. So today, this morning's prayer urges us to pray requesting the full power and provision of Father God. O Father, So many times we have ideas and dreams and desires to do things for you that are not of the ordinary. Unfortunately, many of us squelch those ideas because they are either just too crazy sounding or we don't have the ability, the funds, or even the energy to make them happen. They are quickly discarded, never making their way into our prayers with you for consideration. Please forgive us, for many times these things do not originate from us, but are created by you and given to us to be birthed. So why do we not bring them to you? Father, your word says, with you, all things are possible. Let us bring our big, hairy, audacious prayers to you even when they seem outrageous or just plain impossible. Who are we to say what you will or will not do? These are the things you delight in answering for your children because you are assured to receive all the glory. Father, you find great joy in amazing us with those things that exceed our explanation or reasoning. As we consider the things you give us, Father, may we diligently seek you, knowing that you are a rewarder of such actions. Perhaps this was the motivation that inspired Dr. David Young E. Cho to say, dare to dream because dreamers change the world. Or perhaps this is what prompted Dr. Robert Schuller to declare, what would you attempt to do if you knew you would not fail? When we bring all things to you in prayer, Father, we can depart from our secret place with the assurance that those things you have called us to will not fail nor return to you void. So, Father, As those wild ideas and crazy notions come upon us, let us bring them all to you and allow you to sort them out for us. And Father, again, forgive us for missed opportunities. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom. Portions of this morning's prayer were taken from the book entitled Pray Big, The Power of Pinpoint Prayers by Will Davis Jr., published by Ravel, a division of Baker Publishing Group, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 2007.